Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to this video in the Rotary Tool Series. This short video, we're going to go over an accessory that comes in most of the kits you buy with the Dremel. And kits, I mean the Dremel itself with all the accessories that come with it. It could come in a carrying case or a big case or what have you. This is one of the most commonly accessories that are, in, are included in the kits. If you have any questions or concerns, shoot me an email. Scarlesawvideo at gmail.com or leave a comment in the section below. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up below. Okay, this is the accessory that we're going to be going over today. This is an accessory that you will use for cutting like uh, shapes out of wood, out of plywood and three quarter inch, half inch pine items such as that. You could also use it for cutting drywall, paneling, anything that's, that's pretty thin or soft. You, I don't think you'd want to use this on hardwood such as oak or any other kind of imported hardwoods. But let me go over this with you. It has the name Dremel on the side. I do not know the, I do not know the part number right off the top of my head. I looked for it and I didn't ever find the part number. There is an item similar to this one. It is a grout removal, and it has a grout bit that comes with it, and it looks very similar to this, but it's at, it's cut on an angle instead of sitting straight up. It will sit at an angle about 22 and a half degrees or so. It's a very similar tool. Uh, don't get them mixed up. They're, they're made to do different things. So this one, if you look at it right here, it has two different parts, not counting the screw tightening mechanism here. Look on this part, it has a depth gauge. Hoping that comes in pretty good on the camera. But it goes up an eighth of an inch, up, up to one inch. And you'll see the shape of this. How the bottom looks like uh, it has two legs coming out with like two feet on it. This is the inside of it. This is the part that will screw onto your Dremel. And if you notice the side of it, there's a slot cut into the side. Right here. Try to get a better picture of that. There we go. There's a better view of the slot. Now the slot will fit into this right where the tightening mechanism is. So let's, let's line this up. The feet will go down. So you see the slot will be right here. As you tighten up this thumb screw, it'll tighten up into this slot that's on the side of this internal piece here so it doesn't move up and down and here's the depth gauge on here put up here I was on zero you take it down to the depth that you need for your project now I'm going to post a picture that is uh, what is suggested use for this And I'm going to show you how to do something different with this. I'm going to use this, and many other people use this, as a very small router base to use with router bits. If you look at my previous video on router bits, I'm sure you'll find that helpful. But uh, let's go ahead and hook this up to the Dremel. I have a Dremel model 300 here. We are not going to use the multi-chuck. So I'm going to take that off. Have another previous video on the multi-chuck. Uh, multi-chuck is probably one of the, in my opinion, one of the best accessories that you can get for your Dremel. We're going to take this off right here. I'm going to attach the a collet that will hold the Dremel bit 
or excuse me, a router bit, or this is the the cutting bit that came with it. We'll go over this in, this in just a second. So we're gonna put a router bit in here. I'm gonna put the uh, locking mechanism back on here, locking nut. Before I put the router bit in, let's go over these real quick. Now if you notice, this is the cutting bit. Looks very similar to a drill bit, which is right here. You'll see on this bit, let me move this one out of the way. This is the drill drill bit, the normal drill bit. If you if you notice, look close, you can see how these flutes are cut at an angle. And this will cut as it's turning on the upstroke, which means you'll be mounted like this into your Dremel. And it's going to be rotating, pulling the debris up as it cuts. So these are very easy to get confused. Uh, once you see them in person, you'll see the difference of them between the drill bit and the cutting bit. But that's very important that you need to know the difference in these. So let's go ahead and move these out of the way. We're not going to be using these cutting bits. We are going to be installing a router bit. So let me grab that router bit. I'll be right back. Okay, here's a router bit I'm going to install. This is a core box router bit made for the Dremel and other rotary tools. So I'm going to go ahead and install this into the tool itself. Uh, let me get a wrench for this. Okay, here's the wrench to tighten up the, the collet. I'm just going to stick the router bit in. Loosen this up a little bit. Stick the router bit in. Remember, like I said in other videos, do never push this all the way down. So I'm going to have it about this far out. I'm going to tighten it up by hand. Then I'm just going to take my, my wrench here, tighten it up. Then I'm going to slide this on. So this will slide up to here and just twist on, screw tight. Now if you remember, if you loosen this up, you can adjust the depth on here, however you want it. I never go by this gauge here, so I just, I'm just, just for this tutorial purpose, I'm just going to guess at a gate depth and just tighten this up. And let's see, this is how deep it's going to be. Let's see if I can get a better, there you go. That's how deep my cut's going to be on this example. So, let me move these couple things out of the way here. I have a piece of board here. I'm going to clamp down. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Oops. Get rid of this cloth right here. I'm going to clamp down this piece of wood. And I'm going to clamp down this one also. Now, when while you're using this, crank this a little bit higher. Get this crank down to right here. Back a little bit. There we go. That should be sufficient. We'll clamp this down. Now this is the wood I'm going to be putting the a router on. I'm going to make a little groove in it. Let me get another clamp for, well, let me just move this down a little bit. It might be easier. Tighten this up. There we go. That'll work. Like I said earlier, this is just an example piece I'm showing you. 
it's not really a project yet. So this is the wood I'm going to be putting a groove into and this right here is going to be like a straight edge fence that I can run the accessory. Let me turn it this way a little bit. Might be easier to see. I'm going to run the accessory down the edge of this fence like this, touching the fence so I know I have a straight line. Now you can make this a curved piece, just whatever you like, whatever you prefer for your project. Okay, that's clamped down pretty good. You plug this in. Okay, this is my power. I'm going to turn the power button on. Running good. Okay. Put on my safety glasses. Always use your safety glasses when you use your Dremel. Safety's first. So let, let me show you how this works. I want to just set it down right here. Make this a little bit more, a little bit shallower. There we go. It's much easier to make two passes on this. Well, it's much easier if you make one pass and then make this a little bit deeper to make another pass on top of it, which is not what I did the first time. So, turn that up. Okay, you see my groove right here. It's not very deep, but it's a groove. Depending on what kind of project you're using it for, you might want to make two or three or four passes, making the router bit a little bit deeper each time. Great little accessory, great quick for a quick job. You might have some use for this, you might not. It all depends on what kind of woodworking you do. I appreciate you watching. Hope I. I hope I showed you something here. Maybe you can take something from this and build on it. Appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, hit the bell, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.